Well, it's our favorite time of year. We do this every uh, at the end of every year. Joined by our good friend Duncan Stewart, Director of Research at Deloitte Canada. Hi, Duncan. Richard, good to be here. We love day. Yes, we love to have you in because you come up with your tech trends for the coming year. Big tech trends. Uh, one of the big ones for 2023 is 5G. What's new? Something called 5G standalone. All of our radios, my phone is on 5G and has been for a few years, but that's just the radio. That's me to the tower. At the core of the network, both in Canada and around the world, that was actually the old 4G network. Around the world and in Canada, people are upgrading the core to 5G, and that's going to mean a better experience, not so much for Duncan and Richard, but for businesses. The enterprise use cases, all these 5G factories of the future, they need that 5G standalone, and that's coming. And the phones itself, the 5G phones, you say are going to get cheaper next year. There's going to be, for the first time ever, a 5G phone for under 100 bucks. It will be a lousy phone, terrible phone, bad camera, bad display. But for kids and especially for people in the developing world, this is the doorway to 5G. Now, Netflix is just rolling out an ad supported tier in Canada, so it's cheaper, but you got to watch some commercials and you're predicting people are going to go for this. We have the data. We asked Canadians the number one choice in Canada was free with lots of ads. Shocks me. I, I'm not a big ad guy, but when we look at the data from a survey we conducted here in Canada, the number one choice for Canadians is, is free with lots of ads, and that's even more popular in Quebec. Live sports uh, used to be dominated by the cable channels. Not so much you're predicting for 2020. Still dominated. Still about 90% of global spending on TV sports rights is coming from traditional TV. But the streamers, you've maybe seen rumors that, you know, I mean, we know that one large company did a deal with soccer. Another one is looking at other sports, uh, uh, football rights. All of these are coming to the streamers. We're predicting they will spend $6 billion this year on live sports, up from zero three years ago. We've talked in previous years about virtual reality, and you always said, I don't think it's going to catch on. Now, I have to admit the Oculus 2 is on my Christmas list, but has it caught on and is it going to catch on in 2023? We don't think so. No. 6% of Canadians have a VR goggles access. Not that many. It's niche. Why? Not enough content. The devices cost too much and the prices keep going up, not down. And relatively few people want to spend three to four hours a day wearing a scuba mask on their face. Mark Zuckerberg should have consulted with you perhaps, right? He's put betting the farm on this, isn't he? Longer term, we'll see what happens with the metaverse. It will probably not be VR goggles that look like a scuba mask. It's probably gonna be augmented reality, lighter glasses that you can see through and are not the same kind of experience. Duncan Stewart, Director of Research, Deloitte Canada with his tech trends. Thanks, Duncan. Thanks for having me on. This is City News Everywhere.